It looks something like you. Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. Today is one of those days where I get really real with you. Really real. Cause I'm gonna talk about shaving my face. I mean like how much closer can we really get, you know, other than me actually shaving my face on camera. I mean, maybe my pits. You know, I just, I like to keep it real, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I wanna tell you about the different methods that there are about facial hair removal and which ones I prefer, which of course is shaving, which is why I'm doing this video for you. So we're gonna jump right in and I'm gonna show you the couple different ways that you can go about doing this. So what made me first interested in shaving my face? That's what you may be asking yourself right now. What in the world would Angela want to shave her face? First of all, I read that Elizabeth Taylor used to shave her entire face. I read that Marilyn Monroe used to shave her face along with so many other old Hollywood actresses. And I thought there are very few women on earth who I would consider to be the caliber of beauty that Elizabeth Taylor is. And she must have been doing something right because girlfriend was gorgeous. So I, I that made me kind of just think about it, you know? So why would she shave her face? And then it made me think, well then did that mean that her whole face had like thicker hair? Because that's what we hear our whole lives is, don't shave too much of your legs, don't shave this, don't do that, don't shave your arms because your hair is gonna grow back thicker. So I've done a little bit of research on that and it turns out that there's not a whole lot of truth to that from what I can find. It's that the reason that you think that your hair grows back thicker is because your hair, your face or arm or leg or whatever is completely smooth and then when it grows back, it's full of hair again and it just seems like you have more than before. That's what I've read, that's what I've heard, and I think it's true. I think it's true and the reason that I'm saying that is because I've been shaving my face for a while now and I don't, and I've very realistically been looking at my face to compare, is my hair coming back thicker? And I don't think that it is, honestly. If, if anything, I kind of feel like it's less. So I personally want to debunk, debunk that myth because I think it's truly a myth. So let's talk about face shaving. So when I'm saying that, you're probably thinking of a man, you know, with the shaving cream and, you know, straight razor or razor going like this. That's not what, what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is technically dermaplaning. So I looked up a definition and this one I found on charlottesbook.com. Dermaplaning is a method of exfoliation that consists of using a 10 gauge scalpel to gently scrape off the top layer of dulling dead skin cells in order to reveal a smoother, brighter complexion. So that's basically what we're doing. We're just taking off the top layer of skin and along that with that top layer of skin comes with that peach fuzz, which that's really what we want to get rid of. Unless you're like me and you got a little bit of uh, 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 right, right through there. Uh huh. You, you, you know what I'm talking about, like a little bit of a mustache. It's not attractive. So those, when I get the little strays, I'll pull out my tweezer and pluck them. And it's just freaking annoying to have to go and like get in there and get the individual hair. So that's another reason why I was like, there's got to be an easier way to do that. So several years ago, I was introduced to this handy dandy little, little shing, little thing. This is a shaver. So it's not super uh, sharp. Like it's not gonna really like cut my finger by doing that. Like it's not a straight razor. It's got a jagged edge and it's got like these little teeth things to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It's got 10. Maybe that's what they're talking about. So it's got the 10 edges there. So what I would do is originally I got this and I started cleaning up the area around my brows because you gotta remember something about me here. I'm Greek. That's my, that's my heritage. The, the majority of my heritage is Greek and American Indian. So I've got that really thick hair. Like my arm hair, like I don't think that it's gonna pick it up on camera but it's really long. I'm still going. I'm still going. Still going. It's like an inch long. That's long. And I have, which as I've gotten older, it's gotten less, but I have a little bit of hair on my back and facial hair. I just have it all. And I had the unibrow and my brows have gotten a little bit better as I've gotten older. They've just from, you know, plucking through the years and whatnot, they've kind of thinned out. Um, praise the Lord. But with my brows, I've been through it all. And the reason that I, because I'm sure a lot of you are thinking like, well, why don't you just wax? 
I've tried it and I get terrible ingrowns from waxing. So that's why I don't wax. And I thread, and if you haven't seen that video, I actually teach you how to thread on my YouTube channel a couple years ago. I can link that below in the description box if you wanna check that video out. And I love threading. I love to thread other people, I love to thread my own brows and even my lip, but it does take a lot of time to thread your whole face. So I, and it's painful, it's, it doesn't feel great. So that's why I got into this. So I'm gonna take you step by step on how to use it. First, first this method, and then I'm gonna show you a different method. So before you get started, you need to make sure that you have a squeaky clean face. And by that, I mean no product, no makeup, no serum, no oil, residue, nothing. Like it needs to be squeaky clean. So I'm gonna go wash my face really quick and I will be right back. All right, so my face is totally clean. It's dry, ready to shave it up and I'm just getting my hair out of my face. The thing that I wish I would have told you guys about in my Amazon video are these little clips. They're just so awesome. I reach for them basically every day to just pull my hair up and out of my face. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna use a mirror here because I gotta see close or else I'm not gonna be able to see what I'm doing and I'm turning the light on. Okay. So you take your shaver and you hold it at a 45 degree angle and then you just do Motions like that. Don't push hard, there's no reason to push hard. You know, enough that you, you can tell that you're getting the surface of your skin. And you can actually hear the hair being removed. All right, so not a great depiction of what it is, but you can kind of see there just the, the peach fuzz that came off of my face that quickly. So what I like to do is, it, usually I'm close to water, and, or not water, but something, a towel to, to keep that cleaned off. And you just keep repeating that over in that area. Don't keep doing the same section, like piece of skin over and over again, but until you get the result that you want. And again, very light strokes, 45 degree angle. As I'm doing this, all around me, I can see fuzz flying. So it really works. It really gets rid of that fine hair that is hard to get with, like you, it's almost impossible to get with the tweezers, with a pair of tweezers, but yeah. Just do this everywhere. So I finished this side of my face um, just using a cotton round, a clean cotton round to wipe off any hair. So I, obviously on camera, you're not gonna really see anything significant, but in person, I can tell that there's a, there's just a difference. And my skin is just, you know, smoother. There's no more hair. I'm definitely red through here, and that's obviously from the dermaplaning because you're taking off that top layer of skin, you're, which is exfoliating, you're getting rid of the peach fuzz, you're getting rid of like any kind of like whiskers if you might have whiskers. And also the thing that I've noticed about doing this is that I, I actually take it over my nose. I take it everywhere. I, I go over the, my whole face. And like right there as I'm doing that, I'm having skin flake off and I'm not doing it hard. I'm just doing it very s smooth like and I did between my brows, um, is that if I have a surfacey blemish, like a blackhead, not like not a pimple, but like a blackhead, is that it kind of almost pulls it out. It's the craziest thing. So all in all, I just, I love doing this. I think it's just great for keeping your skin looking really clean and um, smooth. And your face products, especially, especially like your serums, everything like that is going to, to just apply better. It's gonna like seep into your skin better, but most of all, your makeup is gonna apply better. It's just gonna look better, smoother. Like, have you ever seen somebody, or maybe even yourself, that when you're applying, like when the foundation's applied, that you actually can see it like grabbing onto the facial hair? If they didn't have facial hair, if you didn't have facial hair, you're gonna have a much cleaner, smoother look to your face. So that's a major reason why I like to do my entire face. Okay, so the next product that I wanna talk about is called the Derma Flash. It looks like this. So if you guys watched my Nordstrom Beauty Haul, Nordstrom Anniversary Sale Beauty Haul, I actually picked this up at the sale, which is why there's this big sticker on it. So I got it for 126 during the sale. That's what the price tag is for there, but it's actually regular price 189. This is the Derma Flash 2.0. This has been my newest method of actually doing my facial hair removal and I think that it's probably my favorite because it's just faster and I don't know when I do this I feel like my skin's just a little bit irritated afterwards and it feels feels a little bit irritated I feel like with the derma flash it doesn't so I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like so This is the charger that it comes in and it, and it charges head down and it lights up when it's plugged in and then it comes with a thing of razors and all you do to apply the razor is just feed it right into that 
and then off. And then as you can see, the razor is now in place, the shaver. So there's a couple of speeds, I think there's two speeds on this. So let me read to you a little bit about what it says on the box because this is gonna explain it way better than I'm gonna explain it, but it is instant results, obviously. But in a clinical study, significant improvement was instantly observed in tone, texture, radiance, smoothness, peach fuzz, and overall appearance. So for this, it comes with a little cleanser, which that's what I washed my face face with at the beginning of the video because I knew I was gonna try this for you on camera. This is the one that I typically used to remove hair anyways. So this is called the pre-flash, you cleanse, rinse, pat dry, and then you use this, select gentle or invigorating, and then glide across the contours of your face. So you also wanna do a 45 degree angle, like, like the other one. And it says that, um, it's gonna remove dead skin cells, built up debris, pesky peach fuzz, and create flawless canvas for skincare and makeup with smooth, radiant, camera ready skin that's instantly revealed. So I actually, I've already, like I said, I've done this before. I use it all the time and I agree with all those statements. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this on. The power's right back there. And that's what it sounds like and it lights up on the back. And I just do a 45 degree angle. And smoothly or slowly glide it across my face. And you can hear the hair coming off which is just like instant gratification in my opinion. I'm really careful around my brows because I don't want to take my brows off, but I do want to get that sharp line right there. Okay, so I just finished with this. It's, um, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe off all of the debris on my finger here and then show it to you guys up close so you can see all of the dead skin and peach fuzz that came off because they're nasty. All right, can you zoom in? That's a lot. All right, that was a lot. I accidentally got myself right there. I have shaved my face a million times, never once cut myself. So of course, when I'm filming for you guys, I accidentally was talking and got my nose. But that's my preferred way to do it, is with this guy. It's not cheap. You can get the same results as this. This is just faster. So it's just, you know, whichever you prefer. Um, I do love this thing. I think it's fantastic. I think it does a great job and it, does, it gets the job done. The thing with both of these items, they're both one use, I, I think. This, use one time, toss it. This, you have to change this every time. They just get dull. You're not gonna get the same results as you would if you used a fresh blade every time. So these are relatively cheap. I wanna say like a three pack is like somewhere between like four and six bucks. So it's not like it's expensive to do. I shave my face probably about, probably about once every two to four weeks, depending on like what I feel like I need on my face. I need to quit touching my face. Ah, I don't wanna touch my face. Um, just putting oils back in my skin. So that is how I shave my face. Matt was freaking out on camera because I was getting really close to my brow, but I'm like very, I know exactly where to stop. And he's like, go up, but it's like, you would have to be using this to see, like it's almost impossible to get a close shave to your eyebrow up this way because of the holding it at a 45 degree angle. So that's a pro level right there if you're gonna do it near your brow, apparently. Um, but yeah, that's how I shave my face. Let me know in the comments, do you shave? Are you gonna try it? Would you rather wax, tweeze, thread, electrolysis, laser hair removal? Like what is your method of facial hair removal, if any at all? And don't forget to visit me on my blog, angelalanter.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and I love y'all so much. Au revoir.